got to hope that I do understand before we walk through those courtroom doors this morning. I can't just lay open my game plan for you. Look, I need your anger. You better start doing some explaining. I can't. Well, if you don't, you're going to be out of a job. Good to see you behind that desk again. Yep, it's nice to be back. Read some of your Mind Talk transcripts. Not bad. Well, thank you. Not as good as yours. Has Geraldine talked to you about maybe you're coming back on the show? Yes, and she said no, and I can understand why. Well, I can. She ought to feel lucky the chance to have you take over again. Miles, Dr. Mitchell has a contract. Oh, I have no right to ask her oh, to break it. That's just a shame. Mind Talk is your show. It's nobody else's. Yes, well, someone I know once told me that I work too much. So now I'll have more time to dedicate to my private practice and my hotline work and maybe, who knows, even have a life outside of my work. All right, I go along with that. I go along with that. As a matter of fact, that's why I came over to talk to you about what happened last night. Why? What about it? Well, obviously you got the wrong idea when you and Jody walked in, found Liz and me together. The wrong idea? Mm -hmm. Don't be silly. Besides, I don't have the right to have an opinion on that situation. You have every right. Why? Because Liz is your sister, and I'm still your friend. I hope. Of course I will. But the only reason Liz came over last night was to get my support. She's afraid that all your friends are going to dislike her. Now, why would she think that? As a matter of fact, because she thinks you're going to turn them all against her. I am sure that my friends are quite capable of making up their own minds right, about Liz. Now, look. Wait a minute. If you would like to go out with her, ben. please feel free to do yeah. so. I'm sure to what I've been saying. Yes, of course I have. You would like to go out with my baby sister, but you would like to clear it with me first. So, okay, great, you're clear. I don't want to go out with Liz. I want to go out with you. Bill says he'll swear to me on a stack of bottles that he is not counting a stack, but somehow I just don't believe him. Is it so hard to believe he's honest? No, it's not. Then you made your mind up to quit the radio station without even mentioning it to me. First place I didn't quit, all right? The second thing, if I ever do anything, you know I always run it by you. I don't know. It uh, certainly sounds like you've made your mind up. Right. You know, let me give you one of these uh, hypothetical situations, okay? Now, since I've come back from Mexico, do I seem different? Yeah, you have tan. No, that's not what I mean. Right, yes, you do seem different. So you've noticed it. I can't sit still, can I? You see, since I've been there, it seems like running around the South with some fire back in my soul or something. What are you planning on doing? Leaving WN to be a uh, motorcycle racer? No. See, Del seems to think that me sitting around an engineer booth is, is keeping me cramped up. I need a job where I can be out and about. How do you feel? Well, I agree with you. I mean, maybe the best thing I can do is to walk away from this job. You don't sound too certain. I don't know. It's because I'm not. I mean, there's, there's more to it. What else, preacher? Well, see, you know exactly what you're doing. I mean, that's why you're starting your second year over here at the University of Monticello next week. You want to be a shrink just like Dr. Carell, right? So you know all the steps it takes to get to where you got to go. So you got something to shoot for. Yeah. Right, so I just feel like I'm like hanging out or something. And then I need something to shoot for, too. You know, public transportation in this town is so slow, you could just as well take a mule train across Fifth Valley. Come in, please. Thanks. Oh, Geraldine, you look lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you look lovely, too, Emerson, but your big plans failed. If you dismiss me now, do you have any idea what kind of effect this might have on a jury? They might suspect Raven even more. Oh, I don't think so. I, uh, think that thanks to your behavior in court, they'd be understanding of why I felt I had to replace you. Who knows? They might even get some sympathy out of it. I wouldn't count on that. But see, I just don't like your style, Murdoch. Well, you don't have to like my style. So I guess right about now you're thinking I might as well get myself a new attorney. Can do any worse. I don't want that. I want this case. Yeah, I thought that you did. I really don't want to have to do this. Come on, Murdoch. It's not like I'm asking you to reveal some deep, dark family secret. Just tell me why you say you're anxious to have me mad at you. Why you don't care that the jury and the judge are mad at you because i've been working very hard to make sure that you all are mad at me